Well, our particular section that deals with the fact of, of, of uh, Kathy Baker plays my wife uh, is about to undergo um, uh, breast cancer surgery. So I mean, it's 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 a fairly dark topic, but yet I think you'll find that within the film there's a certain um, well, all I can say is it may have even some of the comic relief within the movie. So. You know, I, I started off by offering a movie to actors that I've worked with before. Bueno, muchas veces me preguntan de dónde, quiénes son estas mujeres, quiénes son las mujeres de la película. Realmente no están basadas en gente real. Eh, lo que me interesa son los problemas de los personajes y me gusta dramatizarlos. Me gusta dramatizarlos con personajes femeninos. Eh, pero realmente no, no están basados en mujeres reales, más bien son versiones de mí mismo. Sure, I, I actually participate in two of the scenes in the movie and uh, play with Holly Hunter and Stephen Delaney and Jason Isaacs in one and um, with Amy Brenneman in another. I play a woman named Lisa who is, is, is a perhaps slightly judgmental friend. Well, when I think about the making of the film, I, what I remember is these long, long nights because they were shot in one night. Every there's nine stories and they're a single take, and each take, you know, was shot in one go, and it was just one long night of intense emotion. When you watch this film, I defy you not to cry and laugh and feel exhausted by the end of it. Um, but you know, the, what's great about the film is it's about those kinds of situations that we all find ourselves in all the time. There's no aliens, bags of mafia money. This is about the kinds of lives that we, the, those crisis moments that hopefully we'll only face once in our life, but you've got nine of them in the film. Um, um, I have not been in this situation myself, thank God, but I do have some friends who have, and I asked them if I could ask them questions, and they helped me enormously. And I asked my doctor as well, my, my obstetrician, OBGYN, you know, what, asked her the medical side of it, you know, how, what are people going through, what, have, what tests have they already taken, where are they on their way to now, and that helped me a lot. So yeah, I did do research. I'm not a big research girl usually in a movie, but for this one I felt it was important to get it as right as I could in that part of it. Really, they they know each other really well. They're still together. They they communicate. I mean, they have fights sometimes, and I find find myself in Samantha situation sometimes when I'm like, all right, guys, you want to fight? This is the, this is what the reality of this is. Why are you saying this to her? This is ridiculous, mommy. You shouldn't be yelling at him, kind of thing. And then I was like, huh, I'm being the adult in this, but I never really was. They were always great parents to me, and when I was Samantha's age, I'm, I I didn't have to deal with that. Very excited. It's really um, so excited. Aside of being, you know, part of the festival, of course, uh, to have the opportunity to um, work with, uh, with Rodrigo. I went there. I went there for a day with a director and a, you know a few people from the crew, and I, we talked to people. We had the opportunity to visit, talk to the guards, talk to the women. It was a, so we went to this prison, which was a um, maximum security kind of thing, and it, I was very impressed to see so many women in prison. Uh, it was shocking. It was very sad. It was. Um, the system. <laughs> the system is the system that sometimes I think it was really hard for me to think that the women who were there uh, were all bad. You know, it was really hard to believe that. I think um, that hopefully when they, people see this film and they see women there, that if they're thinking about doing something bad, don't do it because those places are really horrible. In one vignette, I'm uh, with my family and I'm myself through and through. And another vignette, I'm an anesthesiologist, MD, and you know, there's the public persona and another character. I hope you can see glimmers of e in each, but but you know, there's two faces: one that we show to the world and one that we are 
with our family. So. Listen, I grew up with uh, my mother and four sisters. <laughs> I, I, I've been around with my whole. My whole childhood was like a Hallmark card. You can't tell me anything about women. I didn't learn anything new. Uh, not, not any more than I already know, believe me. Four really dynamic sisters, so it's like... And I married a woman, so there you go, all right, so... Six women. Um, what do you think of the festival here in this town that celebrates independent films in a town that is so built on the studio system? I think it's really great and really important. I definitely ask for advice because I I need it, you know, navigating your way through this business is kind of rough. Um, but he, he waits for me to come and ask him, you know, he kind of steps back and lets me feel my way through and make my own decisions and stumble and fall and pick myself up and then he's there for me if I want to ask him questions or talk to him about stuff. And, yeah. <laughs> Thank you.